Hey guys, I'm going to keep this brief and discuss uh, this latest episode of Fear. So uh, basically we have a Strand Alicia-centric episode. Um, st having anything with Strand is always good to me. He's one of the strongest characters that this uh, series has had. And definitely, I would say, a fan favorite, or at least a favorite of mine. Um, he has some inter interesting interactions between uh, himself and, like, you know, the whole Daniel thing. It looked like they gave him a lobotomy or whatever from that wound on his head. And, of course, by the end, we see that that's not the case at all. He's just a big old faker, which is a delightful scene with him and Morgan. I, I like this. Probably my most favorite moment of that episode. Uh, Virginia, I have a lot of conflicting thoughts about. I think, you know, as far as villains go, she's not likable in the fun way of like a Negan. Uh, she's not creepy and disturbing as like an alpha. Um, but what she is, is she is calculating and efficient. She's clearly very smart. Having, you know, making this colossal test you know, for to, for someone to build her army was very good and very wise, considering that she has a bunch of she has a bunch of punk ass bitches basically for rangers. Like her rangers are all weak and ineffectual. If they didn't have the guns, they'd have nothing. The two rangers who were on the site at the at the the loading dock or whatever, uh, they weren't watching each other's bags. Uh, they let a couple of strays like they they went down so easily. It was pretty like just pathetic how easily they went down. Like, literally, like, I can totally understand why Virginia was looking for someone stronger who didn't need a weapon, well, who didn't need a gun anyway, to take care of business because those people are just, people she have, that she has are just terrible. Just pathetic, like, just pathetic. Like, considering where we are at this world, the, the juncture that we're in, this, this has been going on for several years and for someone to be that, ineffectual and weak uh, with the dead. Like, I don't know how they survived to begin with. I don't know where they came from. Sanjay as well, how scared he was, was kind of unseemly giving where we are in the timeline. Like, surely you've come across walkers before. Like, avoiding them entirely and being that afraid just doesn't seem very likely at this, at this point. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I like that Strand kind of laughed about what he did to him. I think, I mean, I, when Sanjay kind of, when he disappeared and just kind of left them for themselves and was like hiding, I was like, I hope something terrible happens to him. I wasn't actually expecting something terrible to happen to him. I wasn't expecting Strand to do that. And I can tell that Strand's not going to lose any sleep over sacrificing Sanjay. But if he didn't sacrifice him, a guy who was weak and clearly not made for that world anyway, um, that could have been his whole team who were still trying to fend off the dead at the docks. So I'm sure some people probably have a problem with what he did, but like when you weigh everything, I personally don't. Um, I don't, and I don't even begrudge him the, the little bit of glee he took from him as well. Uh, then there's, let's see. I would like to know what they did to Daniel where, where everyone assumed he had like memory loss. Like when did he start faking? Like did they just like, beat him up and then they hit him over the head really hard and he just decided to pretend to be meek and meager and all that stuff. That's what I'm going to assume happens. I'm guessing they didn't actually do some kind of surgery. Like they were, ins I felt like they were insinuating that some sort of surgery took place, but you know, considering that he's totally fine and he's just playing a grand act, um, I'm guessing that they just beat him up real bad and someone hit him a little bit too hard in the head and he was probably concussed or something and Anyway, he pretended like, you know, he didn't remember shit, which is a good way to survive, a good survival um, um, procedure or whatever. So I don't begrudge him that. And also, I'm really glad because what a waste of Reuben Blades that would have been if they just left him be all, I'm just going to cut the hair. You know, like he's too great of an actor to just see him being all cowering and cutting hair. So there's that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, so far, they're doing things at a good pace, the right way. Um, I'm guessing, you know, next week they're going to focus more. You know, they're going to circle back to Morgan and bring in Dwight and gradually loop in the other characters as they go along. Um, 
yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll have to wait and see, see where it goes. As for Beyond, I haven't actually watched that yet, but uh, I wanted to do this video real quick while everything was still fresh in my mind. Just a couple of few quick wraps. If I feel inspired to say anything about the world beyond, I'll do a separate video. Um, I can tell you right now, I, I don't feel like that's very promising. So I'm kind of just watching that show, like, just so I can know what's going on and follow along, but I'm really not that enthused about it. I'm still not. So there we are. Anyways, looking forward to next week and seeing the next episode of Fear and Morgan and his new code and his 16 different personalities or whatever. So talk to you later.